One morning, Simon took his football to the land of chalk drawings to play with his friends. The chalk drawing people kicked the ball around and enjoyed themselves. Then the teacher made a suggestion. I think the chalk drawing team should challenge the moon to a proper football match. Simon looked doubtful. Mm, the sums who live on the moon aren't very friendly, but we'll go and ask them. So Simon and Henry got into the moon rocket and blasted off the moon. When they arrived, the sums surrounded them, and Simon challenged them to a football match. To his surprise, the chief sum agreed. Yes, we'll play, but only if we can use our own ball. Simon nodded. The chief sum looked pleased. Now you'll see how mathematics will triumph, and the moon will win. The sum's team, with their ball, crammed into the rocket, and they flew back to the land of chalk drawings. Football field was ready, the teams were ready, the teacher was ready to be referee, crowd cheered, and the football match soon started. The chalk drawing team soon noticed something very strange. Whenever one of their side tried to kick the ball, it seemed to dodge round them. But when the Moon team sent a forward kick the ball, quite gently, the ball swerved round the defenders right up to the goalkeeper, then it hopped over his head and scored. The chalk drawing people were surprised and grew even more amazed as the ball dodged through them again and scored another goal. The elephant was putting goal, but it made no difference. The ball dodged between his legs. Goal after goal was scored, and the sums finally won 50 nil. The happy sums returned to the rocket and flew back to the moon. When they got out, Simon turned to the chief sum. Well, I must admit we were well and truly beaten. You certainly played well. By the way, where's your ball? Oh dear, we left it on the rocket. Simon turned. I'll get it for you. The chief sum smiled mysteriously. No need to bother. And he gave a loud whistle. <whistles> Guess what happened? The sum's football hopped from the rocket and rolled up to the chief sum. Simon stared in astonishment. It's not a real ball at all. It's a naught, one of the numbers you sums are made of. The chief sum laughed. I told you mathematics would win, didn't I? Simon flew back to the land of chalk drawings, wishing they'd used their own ball. Later on, back at school, his teacher addressed the class. You must all work hard. You can never get on in life without mathematics. And Simon could swear that a naught on the blackboard winked at him. <laughs>